Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, this lesson is going to be about your, um, <clears throat> your thoughts and, and how you think. Um, you want to make sure your thoughts are pure. You want to make sure your thoughts are clean. You know, you don't want your, your mental full of wickedness and dark darkness. You know, you want to make sure that is, um, you know, your, your, your mind is full of the light, the goodness of the Lord and the purity of this word. All right. You know, you don't want, you want to be brainwashed. Basically you want your brain to be cleansed. All right. And, uh, you want to think upon pure things and good things so that you can continue to have a healthy relationship with, uh, you know, the church and also with Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right. This is wisdom of Solomon six and 14. It says, whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail for he shall find her sitting at his door. And the her is talking about wisdom because wisdom in Hebrew or not Hebrew, but in Greek translates to the name Sophia. And that's a woman's name. So wisdom is considered a woman. All right. That's why when you see her, it's, it, the her is speaking of wisdom. All right. Verse 15, to think thereof upon her is perfection of wisdom. And whoso watches for her shall quickly be without care. And these are talking about the people who are full of wisdom and purity. You know, you're, you're, you're going to be without care because you're going to have so much faith that whatever is to come towards you or after you or upon you, you can take that cheerfully because you're full of wisdom and understanding. You understand that the, that whatever tribulation you're going through is temporary. You understand that your whole situation is temporary. All right. And that you can you can make it through it because you have the power and the faith of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right. You know that you have that. All right. So you have your faith. All right. Uh, verse 16. It says, For she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her, showeth herself favorable unto them that are, that t unto them in the ways, and meeteth them in every thought. For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline and the care of discipline is love. And we know that love is keeping the commandments. All right. So when you keep the commandments, you have that discipline because in order to keep the law, it shows discipline. All right. So you want to have that discipline of keeping the law and, and, and having your faith. All right, because the Bible says faith without works is dead. So you need the works and you need the faith. All right. So you want to have pure thoughts, which is upon this word. This is uh, Philippians 4 and 8. Finally, brethren, whosoever or whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. So that's what you want to think on. And uh, virtue, you look it up in the Greek, 
any. All right, it, it's a uh, it means moral goodness. All right, excellent, excellent. All right, purity. All right, virtuous course of thought, feeling and action. So this is all just an action on who you are. All right, so you want to think upon these things and be holy. So with that, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai.